Hey everyone and welcome to Break Time Gaming. So I've gotten a lot of comments about getting World of Warcraft working on the Legion Go and it having crashing issues or how to set it up. So I've decided to make a video of getting everything running from beginning to end. So a lot of people will get to the screen and they'll hit the play button and the game will boot to a black screen and it'll sit there for a second then it'll go white. So the reason for this, from my understanding, is the game attempts to boot into DirectX 12 and for some reason it just makes the game crash on the Legion Go. So the best way around that is to go to the additional commands for the game to start and setting it up as Direct 11. So we're going to go into the game settings. You're going to go to your game settings over here and you're going to find World of Warcraft in that list. If you have more than one game, you may have to go through a couple. And you're going to click additional commands in line right here. You're going to click this. The little keyboard will pop up and you're going to hit dash D3 D11 and you're going to hit enter and then you can just hit play. And just give it a second to boot up. And it will boot up. Now, the very first... Huh, that's a little loud. Now, the very first time you do this from a fresh install, you may end up getting a, um, a cutscene for Dragonflight that you can't skip. And we need it to play through everything anyways and get into a character just so that it can make the rest of the folders so that we can put in our, our add-ons. So enabling the controller, what you need to do is you need to tap on the chat button down here. But there's the issue where, unlike other applications, the keyboard doesn't show up. So... You have to swipe it up from the bottom a couple times and manually click on the keyboard option. But then you run into the fact that your keyboard takes up your space. Well, you have this little button right over here next to the X. Right here. If you click that, it detaches it. You can then move it up. Go over to your text box line over here. And you're going to do, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. slash console space gamepad enable Making sure I got everything spelled right here in able. Space one. Yeah, that's a two. One. And then you'll just hit enter. Your screen will go to a quick load screen and it will pull back up and then the gamepad will work. Okay, so our add ons. The only thing that I have installed right now is console port and I'll go through getting that put onto the system as well. And the only thing I have turned off, which I saw a few comments asking about how I had just the, the regular action bars. Um, I turned off the console port action bar add-on, but I left everything else so that I could have the behind the scenes interface uh, for the clicking and everything like that. But so what we're going to do is you're just going to, you can Google console port and it instantly pulls up World of Warcraft as the first thing. And you can just go to the CurseForge, um, curseforge.com. You'll click your download, go through it. It's like, oh, you still download manually. You'll just hit download now. Now, once that's done... Once that's done, you'll have your console port and you'll get that folder open. And you'll have your World of Warcraft base folder. And you'll just 
go through here. I'm just going to use the trackpad. You're going to go to retail, interface, add-ons, and then you're just going to copy and drag this content over to the add-ons for your World of Warcraft folder. And this is the reason why I start World of Warcraft is so that it can just automatically generate all of these folders that are needed to put the add-ons in by itself. And once that is done, you'll just restart World of Warcraft if you still have it running in the background or you'll just start it up. You'll go to your add-on list and you'll turn off the action bar list unless you want it to look like a controller display but i like to see all of my skills at once so it makes it a little bit easier so we have that so we're going to enter the world here and then i'll show everybody how i set up my key bindings um i didn't use any macros or anything like that but that's definitely doable um so the first thing that i wanted to get done was being able to target so you'll just hit the plus, uh, the three lines, I always call it the plus or the start button. And you'll go over here to system and you'll go to controllers. And this may pop up automatically from where it's the first time that you've run console port on the system. And when you're at this screen, you're going to want to hit bindings. And then you're going to go through your list over here until you find targeting. And you want to click on targeting and it will scroll through all the options and everything. And at this point you're looking for target nearest enemy. Which is right here at the top. And I always like to just go ahead and click it. Set the key binding up. And I'll set that to my R button. So now that that is set up to the R button, whenever we find an enemy, it'll just instantly go ahead and uh, target the various enemies or anything like that. You can also set this up with different buttons if you're trying to heal or being a healer to where you can target different party members. Then the way that I have the way I have the actual binding set up is hit the start button again, or I guess that technically works as the escape. And you'll go to system, you'll go to edit mode, and that will give you all of your uh, UI inter options that you can move. The one thing I did notice, which is kind of weird, is the chat box always goes behind the, uh, the action bars, which... It's kind of hard to chat on this anyways, but yeah. So then what you'll do is you'll click on each individual action bar and you'll do quick key binding mode and I missed it. You'll, <laughs> you'll hit quick key binding mode. And now you can go through each of the individual skills and set them up however you want them. So for instance, this one I have set up to X set up to y yada yada there are buttons on the back of the legion there's two on this one then there's two on this one and a scroll wheel so and it it clicks so i mean you have a bunch of options that you can use to set up individual keys or multiple keys uh like my skills up here they're uh right trigger right trigger left trigger plus one of the face buttons but they're like the the least important like popping the mount up and stuff like that that's that that's how you get everything set up in wow um fairly easy process overall and once you have everything like that set up stop the camera from shaking you can just go on your happy way through azeroth or whatever expansion you may be in and just have have fun now if anybody has any other questions please feel free to ask me and i will do my best to try to answer them so i hope everybody liked the video if you did please hit the like button help other people find it in case they get stuck just like you know a lot of people were i was stuck for a while and i hope everybody has a good day and enjoy playing wow on your legion go now
Have a good one.